Welcome back to the truck stop, everybody. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic freaking day. Well, as you can see behind me, I'm home. I'm home. And this video is about this thing back here. <laughs> it's about the landslide. So, <clears throat> in a few seconds, I'm going to show you just a short little clip about uh, the landslide getting new shoes. All right. But I wanted to remind you guys hey, if you have not heard, all right? If you have not heard me as doing a giveaway for you. So if there's any possible way that you guys can go watch the previous video, all right? I'll actually link it below. I will link it below. Watch the video and enter to win. Enter to win. We're giving away two custom t-shirts, two custom stickers, one here and one on Facebook. You have until September 7th, Friday, September 7th. Then we're done. I will pull a, hand, a name out of a box, one for Facebook, one for there. So if you have not joined us on Facebook yet, what are you waiting for? Two chances to win, all right? But anyways, so the landslide got new shoes. And let me tell you something. <laughs> it desperately needed new tires all right that's what that's what we call shoes all right if you got new shoes so here's the video of the old tires yeah they don't look very good but anyways here is um i'm gonna try this no ugh, it's taking still pictures um but here's basically the new tires all right so here we are much much better <laughs> um this is not a plug for firestone or anything like that <clears throat> but these tires are awesome these are for the one ton because you know the landslide is a one ton it's a big it's a big girl but the destination ats have been an awesome tire i made a little bit of a mistake i went a little bit too because we went one size taller two sizes wider and somewhere on here it is rubbing but anywho also just a little fyi listen people if you buy brand new tires whether it's for a car semi pickup truck motorcycle four wheelers whatever these things are slippery because they're still drawing the oil out right Everything's trying to get dried out, seeded in, wore in, and everything like that. Be careful, please. Be careful. Because on the way home, I lit these things up at 45 miles an hour. I mean, I it lit up. Um, laid a bunch of black mark on the, on the road. Didn't mean to do it, but I did it. But, so, <clears throat> basically... Uh, I don't know if you'd really call this a mod for the old girl, but it was something definitely, definitely, definitely needed. Um, and it needs a wash. I'm sorry. It really does need a wash. But, <laughs> so, if you guys, new tires, new shoes. I, I've been neglecting this thing for so long. It needs a new um, fan clutch. That's what was throwing the codes this winter. So I need to get that done too. Um, I also need to get the the pillars. The pillar. The pillar. These things here. Um, this one works. This one this one works. This one does not work yet. This one is the uh, boost pressure. This is the or, the pyro temp. This is the pyro. Fuel rail pressure, pyro, and boost pressure. Um, plus, you know, whatever it shows there. It doesn't show much on the dash. So that's why it is always a good idea to get more gauges. And then the electric brake, everything like that. Um... It's hot in there. Whew, it's hot in there. But, yeah, so our first, I guess, up, update, mod, whatever the hell you want to call it. But, 
Um, but yeah, just to recap, just to recap, uh, 2011, 3,500, as you can see, it is the Laramie edition. It just does not have the badging on it. It is the Laramie edition. It's not the big horn, but you know what? Eh, it works for me and I like it. Um, we've done the pillar. You just saw that. We did um, aftermarket compressor housing, compressor wheel for the turbo. We did a cold air intake kit. We did a EGR and DPF delete, uh, four inch straight pipe all the way out to the back. Um, what else did we do? We did uh, ECM flash. So I have three stages. I run number two all the time. It is uh, on paper, I think it's like 600 or 570 something, 600 or something like that to the rear wheels. Um, next thing is, is I wanna get an intake and an exhaust manifold. That's why the pyro uh, gauge is not hooked up yet on this old girl, because I'm waiting to get the new um, exhaust manifold. I also want to get a new intake manifold just to kind of help air go in and out, you know, a little bit better. Thinking about actually doing a turbo swap on this one, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I would like to get like a, a, not a leveling kit, but like a four inch lift kit. These things are coming off. Ugh, I hate those things so bad. Um, but yeah, the mirrors, um, I do pull a trailer on the weekends. The only thing I don't like about the Dodge mirrors is when you flip them up, that you have to readjust both mirrors, and it, and it sucks. So I just leave them up. It's not because it it quote unquote the cool thing to do. I it's just for me it's a practicality reason. Um, I would much rather have them down, but I just I don't want to spend the twenty minutes, you know, getting to the passenger side because that's the big one that both need to really be changed big time. Um, I would like to get um, a custom grill um, with some LED headlights because these these headlights are okay. They're just they're they're not bad. They're not bad. But yeah, so that's the that's the new shoes, the new tires. Give Firestone a try. I have used them for for many 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 years now on this truck, and um, we have Firestones on the Jeep, on Poopsie's Jeep. They're just not white lettered, but they're Firestones. And uh, different style because this is a different truck. We both also ran the um, Transforce tires on both our 1500s because uh, Poopsie had a 1500. I had a 1500 and we loved them. Firestone makes a great tire. Um, we like them. You may not like them. If put In the comments, put a, com put a comment on what tire um, you actually like the most all right um update about that thing all right i know I get, I get a lot of you guys that have wanted to know what is going on with the cab over it's still here all right it's still here it's not going anywhere because like i said nobody wants to pay the kind of money that i want for it so it's not going anywhere all right um as you can see the the birds flying over it's really humid here right now and the birds are absolutely going nuts see there went one but uh um the cab over is not going anywhere i just don't i can't do anything with it right i'm still in the process of trying to find parts i have now started to come to the realization that i'm probably gonna have to have parts custom made takes money um if you guys have been with me for a while, um, you know I worked for a year and a half with the guy that basically didn't pay anything, right? It was my choice. I, I you know, I understand, but you guys got to give me some time to get the cash flow coming and stuff like that. Because um, on, on just a guess, guesstimation, one cab hinge is going to run anywhere from $2,500 to $5,000 because I have to go through several different people to get these the hinges made. I'm going to have to put a head gasket in. I know a head gasket went out in it um, because every time I get it you know, warm and, and let it idle, 
it pukes out a bunch of water. I know I'm going to have to put a head gasket in it. Probably just go ahead and rebuild it. But I can't do that until I can get the cab lifted. So it's, you see there's a, a set line. Got to make money. Got to get the hinge made. Got to get the engine rebuilt. Once that happens, you know, yeah, then we're going to go out. To, we're going to, you know, it's not going to be a daily driver. I mean, you guys know this. Um, it's not going to be a daily driver. It's just a fun toy that I can come to, you know, your local truck show. Or you guys can come up here and see see my local truck show and, and have it there. You know, maybe do some parades or something with it. You know, just something to have fun with. You know, maybe every once in a while go hook up to a, uh, you know, a, a hopper bottom or, or, or something, you know, and just kind of get it out and stretch its legs and, and have fun with it that way too. But it's just going to be a fun toy, all right? Um, it's still here. It's still here. See, it's right there. It's not going anywhere. Um, like I said, it's, you know, so you guys calm down about the cab over. It is still here. It's not going anywhere. I just need the money to start making some stuff actually start to happen with it. Because I've been looking for a very long time now, um, trying to find parts. And, and some of you guys have been looking as well. And there's just, no, there's none available. There's none available. So, you know, it's here. It's here. But... That's why it hasn't been any videos or, or I haven't talked about it much because there's literally nothing changed about it. Nothing changed. Nothing's going to be changed until I can get some money saved up. So anyways, that's my time. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me again. Just a quick reminder, quick reminder, go check out the video, enter the video. All right. Enter the video or enter the giveaway to win your custom t-shirt and a custom sticker. One winner for here, one winner for Facebook. Two, we will have some t-shirts again for sale. As of right now, I'm not 100% sure what sizes, how many. The t-shirts are done as of this video recording. So they are done. We're just waiting for the stickers now to be finished. They're finished being made. They just need to be cut out. Also, too, a reminder, Big Iron Classic in Casson, Minnesota. It's the weekend of the 7th, 8th, and 9th. Well, basically 7th and 8th. All right? So that's why we're cutting the, the entry for off on the 7th. Whoever meets the qualifications for the video here and the video on Facebook will be entered. Done. That's it. I'll announce live on Facebook, both winners, and then the following Wednesday, I'll announce on YouTube the both winners. So you will be contacted, everything like that. But uh, anywho, got to go. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. If you guys are new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and grab your front row parking here at the truck stop. I may not be for everybody, but I just may be for you. So come on inside. Let's hang out. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.